Over the past few months, there's been a surge in discussions of central bank digital currencies. A number of different central banks have issued position papers discussing how they may consider issuing a central bank digital currency. And then in April, the Bank for International Settlement issued a paper discussing the possibility that the spread of the coronavirus right now could increase the speed at which central banks consider issuing CBDCs or central bank digital currencies. And earlier this week, a member of the, the board of the European Central Bank came to New York and gave a presentation at a conference discussing some of the factors that were influencing whether or not the European Central Bank issued a central bank digital currency or CBDC. So today I'm going to talk about what is a CBDC, how would the issuance of a CBDC impact retail banks and businesses and individuals in the fintech space, and finally, what should banks and fintech companies be doing now to prepare for the possibility that central bank digital currencies are going to be issued in the future. A lot of individuals have noted we already have electronic payments, so how is a central bank digital currency different than what we have now? And to understand the answer to that question, you really have to step back and look at what central banks do. So central banks issue banknotes, so like the $1 bill, that are used by individuals to make payments. And in addition, the central bank has electronic money, but it only gives that electronic money to financial institutions that have accounts at the central bank. So your community bank may have an account at the central bank. And when you as an individual or a business spend electronic money, what you're really spending are the deposits that you have at the bank. It's like an IOU from the bank to you, and it represents a claim on that financial institution, not a claim directly on the central bank. And a central bank digital currency would be different. It would be like cash. It would itself represent a direct claim on the central bank. It would be like digital cash. A shift from retail bank deposits into central bank digital currency would have a similar impact on banks as when one of its account holders goes to an ATM and makes a withdrawal into cash. So it reduces the size of the deposit account and that shrinks the balance sheet of the bank. It means they have less assets, it means they have less liabilities, and generally that's a bad thing for banks because banks are trying to bring in deposits that they can then use to make loans and charge interest and make money. It's potentially a good thing for a lot of fintechs because right now fintechs are in between individuals and banks, which then have accounts at the central bank. And if there was a central bank digital currency, they would be on the same playing field as the bank as ser serving as intermediaries between individuals and the central bank. Over 80% of central banks have announced that they're in some way working on a central bank digital currency. So banks and fintech companies right now should start working to create the flexibility within their own systems so that they can take advantage of a central bank digital currency if and when it's issued. For example, the Bank of England, which has issued a very detailed paper earlier this year on the central bank digital currency that it currently is looking into, talked about having a core ledger that is operated by the Bank of England, but then having an API, uh, which is an application programming interface that would allow third parties to interact with the, the ledger that's operated by the bank, and then on the other hand, be consumer facing. And that's actually similar to what we've seen in other areas with open banking, especially outside the United States, where banks change the way their systems function so that they are able to open up and work with third parties that can develop products and interfaces on top of the bank's own systems. What this means is there's going to be a lot of practical challenges and legal challenges for banks and fintechs in the future. And it's important not to wait till the last minute. You don't want to be caught flat-footed. So if you want to talk about how to take advantage of the possibility of a central bank digital currency, give me a call. I'd be happy to talk to you about it.